So I'm going to palpate the gluteus maximus muscle. It's a relatively easy palpation because it's a the most superficial muscle on the posterior side of the body, and it's also the largest muscle in the body. And so the way we're going to find this is the superior attachment begins very near to the iliac crest. So it's not right on the iliac crest. It's just off of the iliac crest, so just inferior to it. And it's going to basically come from about halfway around the iliac crest, and it's going to work its way medial and inferior. It's going to attach all along here, along the border of the sacrum. So if we want to find the border of the sacrum, you can just sink your the heel of your hand into the meat of the glutes here and push against this flat ridge that is the sacrum. So it's going to come all along here and it continues inferiorly, attaches to the, the coccyx and also attaches to the sacrotuberous and sacroiliac ligaments. So it's a nice big long attachment point here. And the muscle fibers come this direction out laterally and relatively horizontally, and they're, they're going to insert onto the gluteal tuberosity of the femur. So to find that attachment, we're going to do a flat hand palpation of the greater trochanter. I'm going to bend my partner's leg and just laterally and immediately rotate it, and I can feel that trochanter popping up. And then I'm going to slide posteriorly and inferiorly, and I'm going to get there to the gluteal tuberosity. So the glute max is this big, large muscle here. And those superior fibers are going to come down and attach to that gluteal tuberosity. And the inferior fibers are actually going to come more laterally and insert into the iliotibial tract, which works its way all the way down to the anterior tibia. So the superior fibers are going to abduct the leg. They are going to extend the leg, the hip, and then the inferior fibers are also going to adduct the hip. So it's a muscle that does a lot. I like to use extension of the hip as the main palpatory movement. I just find it's the easiest. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to lay my hands broadly across the glute max and I'm going to get my partner to lift his heel towards the ceiling. Perfect. And that big broad muscle pops right up into my hands. I'm going to palpate the gluteus medius muscle, which is going to have a superior attachment, not at the iliac crest, but just off of the iliac crest. So just inferior to the iliac crest. And it's gonna start at the, the farthest anterior point of, uh, on the ilium, and it's going to travel around until the posterior gluteal line. Now, to find that, what we wanna do is we wanna palpate the iliac crest and find the PSIS. And so the PSIS is where, right where my thumb is here. And if I find his greater trochanter, so I'm just gonna get you to laterally and immediately rotate your hip a bit, go ahead. Perfect, so flat palpation of the greater trochanter is gonna be right here. And if you draw a line between the PSIS and the greater trochanter, that is generally where the posterior gluteal line is. So gluteus medius is going to start right around here. It's going to come around like so, and it's going to travel down here. So it's a roughly triangular muscle and attached to the greater trochanter distally. Now, I like to think of the glute med as sort of the deltoid of the hip because it does all of the movements just like the deltoid does, and it actually sort of looks like it as well. So the main action of the glute med, the action I'm going to use to have it pop up is actually going to be just abduction of the hip. So I'm gonna lay my hand where I know the glute med to be, and I'm gonna have my partner resist abduction. Amazing. And it pops right up in there. And this is a major stabilizer of the hip. So thank you, a strong glute med is very, very important. Now. The rest of the actions that the glute med does, the anterior fibers here are going to help flex the hip, and the posterior fibers are going to help extend the hip. And then there's some debate whether or not it, the glute med helps to medially and laterally rotate the hip. I think it does, but the main, main action here, the one you want to use to have it pop up, is going to be abduction of hip. I'm going to palpate the gluteus minimus muscle, which is the deepest and the smallest of the glute muscles. So the superior attachment of the glute min is going to be um, on the external surface of the ilium. 
between the anterior and inferior gluteal lines. So to find that, we're going to find the iliac crest up here. And if you slide slightly distally off of that, that's approximately where the anterior gluteal line is. To find the inferior gluteal line, we're going to find the PSIS back here, and we're going to find the greater trochanter here. I can get my partner to laterally and medially rotate his hip just to find where that's popping up. Perfect, thank you, right there. So if there's the PSIS and the greater trochanter, about halfway between those two landmarks is going to be where the inferior gluteal line is. So I know that the beginning of the gluteus minimus is going to be right around there. And the distal attachment is also the greater trochanter here. The actions that this muscle does mimics the glute med, which is superficial to this muscle, which is mainly abduction of the hip. And also because the fibers sort of come anteriorly more than posteriorly on this muscle, we're going to get hip flexion as well as hip medial rotation with the gluteus minimus as well. To, to actually differentiate these muscle, this muscle between its, its muscles surrounding is, is very difficult. So what I like to do is I just like to find where it is located and I sink deep in here and I'm going to get my partner just to abduct against resistance and I do feel a bunch of muscle fibers pop up. Now I'm also feeling gluteus medius here, but I know that deep to those fibers is the glute min.